So find a way that you can stay for the next 40 minutes. Do what you need to do to make yourself a little bit more comfortable. And know that if you need to move, change your position, get up and walk around a little bit, you're welcome to do that. There's no need to stay in one place. And there's not even a need to stay still. And allow your senses to be alive so that you can have the full experience of this meditation. So begin to open up your sense of taste, your sense of hearing, sense of smell, sense of sight, sense of touch. Noticing everything around you Noticing your current experience. And then allow yourself to scan your own body. Notice areas where you feel comfortable, other areas where you may not feel as comfortable. Try to breathe in the air into the areas that are not as comfortable. Let yourself release the tension in the body. So think about what your intention is for today's practice. What would you like to feel like as you're practicing, experience as you're practicing? And how do you want to feel at the end? And then bring to mind your own mission. What, what gives you purpose in life? What makes you tick? And how could your intention for this evening's practice help guide you towards your own mission and purpose? What do you see for yourself and others in your life or in your community? And as you're thinking about what you wish for yourself and others, really use all of those senses that we just opened up. Feel it in your bones, so to speak. Feel, really taste it, hear it, smell it, see it, feel it. If your mission were accomplished, what would your experience be? And then begin to develop your own inner resource, your own sense of strength, security, ease. Whether it be a place in nature, your home, your pet, your friend, family member, when you're in this space or bring that person to mind or place to mind or symbol, you feel perfectly at peace, completely at ease.
And I know that this might be difficult at first. Begin to develop what brings you that sense of peace. And it might even be that connected feeling to the universe, the, the being connected to your community, to others, to the world. We're all in this together. And now as we begin to go through the body sensing, I'm going to invite you to move a little bit this evening. You don't need to stay still. I tell you, usually you don't need to move the body parts as I mention them, but maybe experiment. This is not, you don't have to do it, but if you feel like moving it, do so. If you feel like if I talk about the mouth, you can open your mouth wide. Talk about the arms and the hands. You may want to bring some movement in. Allow yourself to really be feeling your body, what your body can do. Really sense your body and your body in the space that surrounds it and your body as part of the space that surrounds it. So I will guide you. I will mention the different parts of the body. Do what you need to do to, to feel comfortable to fully experience that part of the body or to be still your choice. So starting with the mouth, notice the sensations in the mouth. You may want to open the mouth. You may want to stick your tongue out. You may want to smile. You may want to purse your lips, whatever you feel like doing. Feel the sensations in the mouth. You may want to move it all around. Making it wide, making it narrow. And then feel the sensations in your mouth as you do that movement. Feel the sensations in the mouth as you remain still, resting. And now notice the sensations in the ears. Maybe you are someone who can wiggle your ears. So you can, I can wiggle my ears. You can wiggle the ears or let them be still. Sensing the insides and outside of the ears. And then notice the breath as it flows in through the rims of the nostrils. Maybe expand your nostrils wide as you breathe in. And then relax them as you breathe out. Noticing the sensations in the nose, the sensations of the breath. And then the eyes. If your eyes are closed, you may leave them closed or you may open them wide, opening the eyes wide and then closing them, maybe squeezing them shut and opening them wide again, feeling that radiance in your eyes, all of the sensations, and then feeling the space around your eyes, the eyelid, 
and then moving to the temple. Maybe raise your eyebrows just a bit. That look of surprise. And then allow the eyebrows to release. And feeling the sensations in the scalp, the scalp at the top of the head, the crown of your head, the back, the sides. Feel the sensations even of your hair. And then notice the sensations in your neck, the front of the neck, the back of the neck, the tops of the shoulders. Maybe lift those shoulders up by the ears, squeezing the muscles at the top of the shoulders, really holding them up a little bit, allowing there to be tension in the shoulders. Take a nice inhale. And then as you exhale, allow the breath to flow out through your mouth, letting out a sigh. Release all the tension in your shoulders. And then begin to notice the sensations in your left arm. Maybe allow that left arm to rise up, feeling the top of the arm, the rest of the upper arm, the elbow, the forearm, the wrist, the hand, the fingers. And if that arm has floated up off the surface it was resting on, allow it to gently float down like, a, like it was resting on a cloud. Feeling all of the sensations. So maybe do that again, that left arm rising. Left arm floating down. And then just let it rest. Whatever surface is supporting it. And then bring your awareness to the right arm feeling the top of the shoulder. Maybe allow that arm to float up. Upper arm, elbow, forearm, wrist, hand, fingers, up towards the sky. And then let it float back down. You might try that again if it feels good or just let it rest down resting on the surface that supports it. But if it's up, just maybe stretch it up, reach, maybe grab for something and then when you're ready, let it float back down. And allow your awareness to float to the sensations that are in both arms now arms and hands and fingers resting and full of sensation. And then begin to feel the torso, feeling the upper chest, the mid chest, the belly, the upper back, the mid back, the low back, the sacrum, the pelvis, You're welcome to bring some movement into the torso or you're welcome to let it rest in stillness. Whatever feels most comfortable to you. Feeling the sensations in the entire torso. And then bring awareness to the left buttock, the left 
hip, thigh, knee, foreleg, ankle, foot, toes. You might want to even rotate the foot at the ankle, maybe bring a little bit of movement, maybe turn your leg out and in. Even if you were laying down, you can kind of rotate the, the leg in the hip socket. Noticing the sensations with the movement of the leg. You can still allow it to be heavy, resting on whatever surface supports it. Maybe feeling your toes flex back towards your shin. Maybe extending those toes long and just letting that foot relax, rest. Notice the sensations in the left leg. And then bring your attention to the right leg, the buttocks, the hip, thigh, the knee, the foreleg, the ankle, the foot. You can rotate that leg out and in, in the hips, hip socket, bringing some movement in the leg, noticing the sensations that occur as you move it. Rotating the foot at the ankle. Slowly feeling every part of that movement. Flexing the toes back towards your shin and then pointing them away. Stretching the top of the foot. Maybe do that a couple of times. And then let the foot Rest. Let the whole leg rest in stillness. And notice the sensations in the right leg. And then notice the sensations in the entire front of your body, the back of the body, left side, the right side. Sense the entire body, inside, outside. Where does the body begin? Where does the sensations begin? And where do they end? Feel the body and the space of the, around the body melding together as one thing, one sensation, body and space. And then become aware of yourself as you breathe. Feel the movement of the breath in the body. Perhaps the chest rises, the belly expands as you breathe in. And that movement reverses as you breathe out. And if you can breathe in and out through your nose, but you're welcome to breathe in and out through the mouth. If you have a cold or can't get enough air through the nose, it's fine. Just notice the, the movement of the breath. Feel the body expanding into the space around the body as you breathe in. And then feel the space coming into the body as you breathe out.
Allow your breath to slow down. Let that inhale be full and deep. Feeling that diaphragm expanding down in towards the lower abdomen as you breathe in. And as you breathe out, feel it float back up under the ribs. Inhaling, let the diaphragm expand. Exhale, let the diaphragm release. And then notice the sensations in the pelvic floor. And as you breathe in, allow the pelvic floor to relax. And as you breathe out, allow that pelvic floor to contract. Inhaling, relaxing, releasing the pelvic floor. And then exhaling, engaging the pelvic floor. Your second diaphragm. And then just allow your breath to come back to its natural rhythm not trying to do anything, just breathe. And as you take your next breath, Gently retain the breath and notice the entire body, the sensations in the body. And then when you're ready, just release the breath and come back to your natural breathing. And now allow your awareness to flow to feelings that are in the body, feelings you may have the sensations of feeling heavy. Your body is resting heavy on the surface that supports it. Or you may have the opposite feeling. You may feel light as a feather. Or you may feel kind of sharp and prickly or dull. Or you may have a general sense of comfort or perhaps discomfort. Just notice what your global body sensation is. Allow that to float into awareness. I know if you're not feeling anything in particular, that's okay. There's no need to force anything. Just rest, resting in stillness or resting in movement. You're welcome to keep moving. But if there is that sensation in the body, find its opposite. 
imagine the opposite. And really allow yourself to feel this opposite sensation fully. And then when you're ready, bring both opposites of feeling into the body at the same time. And experiencing how this affects your body and mind. Now find an emotion, emotion that you're working with in your life or that you wish to work on. Emotions such as love or hate, gratitude, being ungrateful, happy, sad. anger or appreciation. Just find an emotion that you are working on or that you wish to work on. You might find a memory that will allow you to bring this emotion into your awareness now. And feel it as a felt sense in your body. This emotion is sensation in your body. Where do you feel it? What type of sensation is it? Sharp, dull, squeezing, burning, Glowing, radiant, I don't know. What is the sensation of the emo emotion? And where do you feel it? Is it in the periphery, in your hands or feet? Do you feel your mouth clenching? in your stomach, your head, your eyes. Where do you feel this emotion? Now find the opposite of the emotion. If the opposite emotion were present, what would your experience be? What does it feel like and where are you feeling it? Where are you experiencing this opposite emotion?
And now go back and forth between the opposites of emotion, taking time as you do this for each one to be felt completely, fully. So starting with the first, and then its opposite, and back to the first, and do it several times. And now invite both emotions into awareness at the same time. And notice your experience. Now find a thought or a belief that you find yourself thinking over and over again or believing about your current situation, about you as a person, your place in this world. And as you have this thought, this belief, what is your experience? Is there a sensation in your body? Do you see anything, hear anything? Just allow yourself to fully experience this thought or belief. and the effect it has on your body. Do emotions come with it? Or other thoughts? And now find the opposite of this thought or belief. If the opposite were true, if you were experiencing the opposite, what would your experience be? Sensations and where, where do you feel these sensations in the body? Allowing yourself to fully experience this opposite belief. And now go back and forth between the two opposites. Letting yourself have the time to experience each fully. Noticing the effect each has on the body, the sensations, the emotions, the images, maybe other thoughts go back and forth.
And now invite both beliefs into awareness at the same time. And notice what your experience is. And now allow yourself to be aware of your total experience. Notice everything that's present, feeling that you are aware of everything, the body, sensations, emotions, thoughts, beliefs. And experience yourself as awareness within which everything is coming and going. And now begin to bring your awareness to that beautiful inner sense of joy. Perhaps it's hidden in a teeny tiny part of your body, but you will help to bring it out, your sense of well-being, your sense of inner strength, inner peace, If you're not finding, if it's hiding from you today, perhaps find a memory. Remember a time when you felt joy. And just allow yourself a glimmer of joy right now. Imagine yourself doing something that brings you joy. Being with loved ones, helping others, in your favorite activity, eating your favorite food, whatever brings you joy, imagine it we're here right now. And then let go of the object of your joy, of the the outside experience, that thing that brings you joy, and just kind of focus in on the sensation of joy that you have in your body. You have this inherent sense of joy. It's there. It's hidden sometimes, but it is there. Joy is in your heart. A heart of joy. It's warm, glowing, flowing. Joy is everywhere, expanding everywhere in your body. That gentle inner joy flows in through your hips, your legs and feet, your toes, your arms, your fingers your neck, your head, your face. You might even feel your lips turning into a smile, a smile of joy. Your eyes are smiling. Every part of you 
feels joy. And allow this joy to reach every part of you, every cell, every space between each cell. Joy is in your fascia, in your muscles, in your organs. Joy is everywhere. It's in you and it's outside of you. It fills you, it fills the space around you, it glows from within you. Feel joy as this field of radiance that you can experience no matter what is going on in your life. You have the capacity for joy within you. You are joy. You are love. Love is joy. Joy is love. Now feel yourself as the pure awareness of yourself as joy, yourself as love, yourself as open, spacious. Filling and glowing into the space around you and the space around you is filling within you, lending, pulsing, awareness. Feeling that pulse of life within you, gentle movement, Awareness of just being pure awareness itself. And then recall your own inner resource. Feel your inner resource as you're feeling your sense of awareness. Notice your breathing body, that sense of softness and ease. Remember your intention for the practice. Coming up with an intention for next practice. And then recall your own heartfelt mission and purpose as fully accomplished. Feel it with your whole being. Feel it with your body, the space around your body, the space within your body. Mission accomplished. And then imagine going about your day with everything changing. And yet you are aware of your being pure awareness. All day. Handling each circumstance that comes to you 
with a perfect response. As we end the practice, take your time. Just begin to feel where you are in space, in the room where you are, town, state. Allowing yourself to come back here and now, fully awake, fully alert. You may carefully bring a little bit of movement into your body. You may gently blink open your eyes. And just be grateful to yourself for taking the time to practice this meditation And I thank you very much. Namaste.